Several drugs to treat Alzheimer's disease are in the market. However, none are that efficient. More than 6 million Americans of all ages have Alzheimer's. An estimated 6.5 million Americans aged 65 and older are living with Alzheimer's in 2022. 73% are aged 75 or older. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to discuss about how attention deficit hyperactivity disorder drugs are helpful in treating Alzheimer's disease. There's good evidence that drugs to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder might also successfully treat key aspects of Alzheimer's disease, finds a pooled data analysis of the available research published online in the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery and psychiatry. Noradrenergic disruption occurs early in Alzheimer's disease and contributes to the cognitive and neuropsychiatric symptoms that characterize the condition, suggesting that the noradrenergic system would be a good target for drug treatment. The researchers therefore looked for clinical trials published between 1980 and 2021 in which noradrenergic drugs such as atomoxetine, methylphenidate, and guanofacine has been used to potentially improve cognitive and or neuropsychiatric symptoms in people with neurodegenerative disease. They included a total of 19 randomized controlled trials focusing on Alzheimer's disease and mild cognitive impairment involving 1811 patients. Six of these trials were judged to be good quality, seven as fair and six as poor. The results of 10 of these trials involving 1300 patients were pooled for global cognition, orientation or attention, memory, verbal fluency, language and visual spatial ability. This showed a small but significant positive effect of noradrenergic drugs on overall cognition as measured by the mini mental state exam or the Alzheimer's disease assessment scale. The results of eight clinical trials involving 425 patients were then pooled for behavior and neuropsychiatric symptoms, agitation and apathy. And this showed a large positive effect of noradrenergic drug on apathy, even after removing outliers to account for differences in trial design and intended outcomes. Repurposing of established noradrenergic drugs is most likely to offer effective treatment in Alzheimer's disease for general cognition and apathy, the researchers ended. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.